Alright, continuing where we left off. This is now the puzzle. Alright, um, you have to go straight from here down those steps until you can get to Candace. But, as you can see, there's a bunch of snowballs in the way. Now, to, um, get rid of those snowballs, you have to slide on the ice, like I just did, from, like, y you see where it kind of curves down, where it's the, um, curves down, into, like, towards the middle. Well, um, every time it curves, that's kind of like a level, and you have to go, um, from one level above the snowball, um, in order to crush it. So, um, you have to slide down from one level, and then, without anything stopping you, like a snowball, or a patch of snow, or one of those staircases, um, yeah, so, um, there, I think there are three snowballs right in the middle that are blocking your way, and on every single, um, other step, like every other level, there's one snowball blocking your way. So, I guess if you just watch the video, um, you'll be able to figure out how to smash the... You'll be able to s figure out how to smash the snowballs. See, I'm kind of confused. I'm trying to find my way around, but... As you can see, I went from one level up and crushed the snowball real easy. Like, if you're really close, like, um... But you're still one level above the snowball, you can still go down and crush it. Um, so yeah, that's just, um, this is just one of those puzzles where, you know, the smart people who created this, these puzzles were just, they wanted to purposely make this for us, just so they could, um, watch us, and it was like, we have no idea how to get through this puzzle, and they're just, they're thinking we're so retarded and stuff. But, um, yeah, you kind of, you kind of figure it out after a while, you kind of, slide down and hit those snowballs like oh that's how you're supposed to make it well this is this is almost kind of like the um the gym in veilstone where you had to move those blocks over um except it's a little more advanced you know you can't really um stop where you want to you have to go like um in a specific way um and you have to go slide down, you have to go back up levels in order to go back down and slide and hit the snowballs and yada yada and, you know, <laughs> so yeah. You know, I was, I, while I was doing this, I was thinking how, how much it would cost to actually m make these gems. Like, let, let, let's start it off. The first one, um, let's see, Rark, um, that's probably the most, yeah, simple thing, probably the cheapest, um, gem to actual, actually make, you know, um, just a couple of levels, but, um, yeah, let's see, the second one is gonna be pretty tough, because, you know, um, there are all those, um, patches of grass and trees and bushes, you know, they would have to have, like, a, a retractable roof, and it would, it would be, have to, um, be able to stay like that and, um, have all the sun come in, they'd have to continuously water the area, you know, and the painting on the walls, and, you know, th that would cost a lot, I'm pretty sure. Um, the third one, real, that one's pretty cheap, I mean, it's just the, you just have to, um, push some blocks over, it's kind of like a little dojo, it seems so simple, yet so sacred and important and stuff, but yeah. And then there are others, like the fourth one, um, that would be really a yeah, well, you know, since it's time, um, we finally made it to Candace, we got through all that, so once you get all the, all them done, here we are. Okay, Candace can be pretty tough if you're not prepared. Um, Snover just sends out a hailstorm, um, Medicham is pretty tough, Sneasel is really fast, and Abomina Snow, well, like I said, if you're not prepared, he can really take you down. Alright, um, well, Candace, it seems like every... Everybody looks up to her, but it's not like they're being controlled by like, Crash or Wake. It's like, she's an actually pretty, really good gym leader. Well, anyway, let's just get this started so I can get my 7, um, badge. Alright, Snover, like I said, um, his ability, like, Snow Warning, um, it automatically sends out a hailstorm, so every turn, you know, um, you know, you'll be hit with, um, hail, and that will... That's not good, you know, it adds up unless you finish this battle pretty quickly. Alright, um... Well, Snover, if you hit it with any 
um, any pretty good fire type or steel type, anything that's super effective against Snover will probably take it out in one hit. So really all it does is start the hail storm and as you can see there's the hail and you know um, if you take out um, Candace's team pretty quickly really shouldn't be that much of a problem. Um, okay. Um, now she's going to send out Metacham. Now Metacham really it's different than um, her usual ice. It's a fighting and psychic type but it has ice punch. So yeah, and it also has Force Palm and Bulk Up and Detect. Detect can be really annoying because, as you know, the Hail Storm will keep on hitting you if you don't finish it off quickly, and Detect will just keep on, you know, um, stopping you from doing any damage. Um, well, I'm gonna bring out Queen Bee, and I know that he, he uh, Metacham has Ice Punch, so I'm really not worried about that. Um, because I'm pretty sure Queen Bee has enough defense in order for me to be able to take out Metacham. And I gave it a Shell Bell, just so um, it could take up some HPs, just so uh, if it hits me, hits me with another Ice Punch, then I probably don't have to worry about it, even though it's hitting me with Hail. Now, as you can see, Metacham is in the red zone, so that means that, um, as all gym leaders do, they're going to heal up their Pokemon, this time with a Hyper Potion. And that's gonna suck, because <laughs> we have to do all this work all over again, and I have to worry about the hail hitting me again. But yeah, really, um, yeah, Metacham is pretty tough, you know. Um, it doesn't. This is. It has only one weakness, and um, you know, it has Ice Punch and Force Palm. Those are pretty good attacks. And, you know, as I said. Um, Metacham is pretty tough. I don't know what it is. You know, it just has pretty good attack, or its ability gives a double attack or something. I don't know. Now, Force Palm um, does is I'm quad resistant to uh, fighting attacks, so um, really doesn't do much damage. All right, a critical hit. How do you like that? At in injury, what are you saying? Well, insult to injury. You know, I never get those things. You know, like um, I. Eye to hand coordination or hand eye or eye hand. I think it's hand eye. I'm not sure. What? I'm not even going to deal with it. Um, alright. We'll continue on. Um, she has a Sneasel. Now, Sneasel, um, don't bring anything that's like doesn't have very much defense. Bring out something that has, um, a lot of defense or really is like, um, it's really resists a lot of attacks because. Sneasel's really fast, and if you bring out something that's weak, um, like, if I brought out Roserade, I'd probably have to worry about it, but, you see, Sneasel is really fast, and, um, has pretty high attack, so, if it outspeeds you, then, and if you have not good enough defense, it'll just, like, sweep you out, that's the one thing you have to worry about, but that's okay, you don't have to worry about that, because I have biscuits, you know, and the hail's getting annoying, <laughs> But thankfully, we only have one more Pokemon to worry about, and that is the Pokemon that you should worry about, Abom the Snow. Um, it is the evolved form of Snover, and you can see it's a big thing. I'm not sure if it has a lot of HP or a lot of defense or something like that. Not really that much of a threat, but it is something to consider, you know. As long as you, have, if you have a good Fire type, um, same thing. You should Fire type attacks will probably take it out in one hit. Um, other than that, you should, if you have a high level Pokemon with a super effective attack, like I have Biscuits, you'll take it out in one hit, but it has stuff like Wood Hammer and Avalanche and Swagger and stuff like that that you should worry about. Alright, well, mm, that was a pretty easy battle, but I did a, a lot of training, so really shouldn't be that much of a problem. Alright, I get the Icicle Badge. Which is now my 7th badge, which means I only have one more badge to go. Um, now I can use Rock Climb anywhere I want to. Like if you wanted to go back to that one part where you could Rock Climb up to those trainers. You could do that. She also gives you TM-72, which is Avalanche. Um, which, it doesn't have that much um, attack power, but if you have less than... Um, if you have less than half... Um, HP left, it'll do double damage. It's kind of like Brine. 
Alright, like I was saying, we have seven badges, but we have to take care of some Team Galactic stuff, so we will take care of that next time. See ya.